Hey guys, Alex here from Oaks Gaming. Hope you all are having a fantastical day. And today for you guys, I'm going to be doing something a little different that I haven't done before in the past. And it just sort of came to me the other day and I was like, wow, I can't believe I haven't done this yet. Um, I'm going to be showing you, it's going to be a five part series. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys the process of deck building and like what goes through my mind when I'm building decks because anyone can just go and like watch one of my deck building tutorials and copy my deck but it's also really satisfying to build your own deck and to do well with something that you build so I want to give you guys the opportunity to do that especially if you're new players and you haven't built decks before so today I'm gonna do the deck building process of a ranger for you guys so I'm just gonna pick a ranger um, all rangers I normally build the same way so this is kind of a universal way for you to deck build for a ranger um, so I'm just gonna start off and I'm gonna go with let's say Murdoch so this is my thought process when I'm building a deck for a ranger so you have your three prime cards and all the abilities below are pretty much the same it's just do you want extra 30 power, 250 health, or attack speed? And I always go for damage because I want to have a set amount of attack speed already built into my deck, so I just want more damage. So that's why I go with that. And then what you need for a ranger is you need lifesteal, you need crit chance, you need a crit bonus, and you need attack speed. You can possibly throw in basic pen and maybe like a blink charm for you to get out of shitty situations so i'm not going to put a blink charm in this because the way you want to build a ranger is you want to be able to do as much damage as you can to the other team and if you're putting points into other stuff it takes away from that damage you can do so first off i want life steal and when you're building life steal on a ranger you kind of want to go for a set amount um 17.5 is pretty good but what i've been doing lately is i've just been grabbing a crit bonus item and i just fill that with ones so i have 10 life steal which isn't a lot but it's enough to heal me back up when i'm in lane so That'll give you your life steal. You can go with a brand of the Iron Eater, whatever you guys want to do, but you need life steal on a Ranger. And that covers our life steal and our crit bonus, which is two birds is one with one stone, so to speak. So that's nice to get that out of the way. Then we need damage, crit chance, and attack speed. Now, as far as crit chance goes, you guys want the amount of crit chance that you feel works best for you I usually go at least 36 I wouldn't go any lower than that and if you want to go more then you can I'm gonna go probably about 75 ish percent crit chance and then just have a bunch of damage and a little bit of attack speed you don't want a crap ton of attack speed so we're gonna go with our crit chance first so Let's just say we throw three Spear of the Rift Hunters in there. And then we have two more cards we can do. So I'll just grab some attack speed. Oops, sorry, my phone's right there. So let's grab some extra attack speed with some damage. So I'm just going to grab two Whirling Wands. So right now we have 12, 24, 36% crit chance which you could just fill those out with damage and run that if you want, but I'm going to go for a little bit higher crit chance. And I have, between these two Whirling Wands, about 33 attack speed, which isn't horrible. I might throw a little bit extra in there, which is probably what I'm going to do. So I have 11, 22, 33 attack speed. So let's say we want 44. So we'll put a major cast, a two point cast, and a one point minor kinetic. And we'll do that on both of these. So now 
we have 44 attack speed, which is pretty good. I honestly wouldn't go above the 70 range on a ranger because then you're missing out on damage. And that's what you're going to find when you're building decks is you have to find the right balance between your attack speed, your crit chance, your crit bonus with your life steal. So that's just going to take some tinkering and some getting used to. So then what I'm going to do is I have 36% crit chance here and I want around 70. So I'm just going to run 36 points worth of crit in all of these. So I have one, two, three nines and two twelves, which means I need one more nine. So I need another three and then a two and a one. That way we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72% crit chance with a good chunk of damage, 44 attack speed, 10 life steal with that crit bonus. And that's basically what you guys are going to want to do on on your rangers. I mean, if you want to swap out like a spear of the Rift Hunter and put in like a blink charm, like uh, there's a five point blink charm that's really good. Blink shot, which is you teleport forward and the cooldowns reset if you get a kill within eight seconds after using it. And that's just nice to get out of stuff like a deck or alt or something. As I said, it's a lot of uh, nitpicking through your decks and finding the right balance. So, as I said in the beginning, guys, on Ranger, all you really need is your crit bonus, life steal, some attack speed, a bunch of damage, and a good chunk of crit. And you'll be doing really good. Um, and the only other thing... I would do is it's nice to have starter cards on a ranger and what I've been doing lately is I'll grab a health potion and maybe a couple of cast tokens and that's what I'll start off with just in case my support isn't running like a circlet of health or something and giving me some health regen and then I'll just grab some mad stone gems and I'll just fill those with one points I think I can fit one more in here. So you would like start off with a health potion and two cast tokens, and then you have these five point mad stone gems, and you're gonna toss these away. The reason that you want to do this though is because you get that fully upgraded bonus, and that's the fastest card that you can fully upgrade is a two point card. So those are good to get a little bit of a jump on the enemy team and get a little bit ahead of them. So that's pretty much all you guys have to do when you're building a deck build for a ranger. Now this will work for Murdoch, this will work for Grim, Sparrow, any ranger right now. I mean, I don't know what the build for the new character is going to be and what his kit is going to entail, but I'm sure this would work for him too. It's just a good way to build for a ranger. And I'm hoping this was really helpful to you guys. I was just thinking the other day, like, new players. I remember when I first started playing, it was a big issue figuring out how the cards worked and how to build decks. And I've kind of gotten to the point where I've almost mastered it. So I wanted to share this process with you guys, and I'm hoping that it helped you guys out a lot in building your own decks. Um, if you guys like this, please leave a like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more of this. Um, I probably will do more anyway, but it will just be nice to know if you guys are interested in something like this. And if you guys are new to my channel, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll leave my Twitter and Facebook information down below if you guys want to check me out on that as well. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.